Sometimes a little nostalgia can be the best seasoning for a meal. At least that's the case for the Country Boy restaurant in Leaper's Fork. As Tammy Arder discovered, a couple from out of state saved this iconic restaurant, much to the delight of many customers. The laid back feel of Leaper's Fork is something of legend, virtually untouched by the big city, just about 40 minutes northeast of here. The reliable ring of an old rotary phone, along with the mild roar of a hungry crowd, means one thing. You're in the heart of Leaper's Fork at the Country Boy Restaurant. There's fifth generations here, so that's why we, we love this and we do what we do. Country Boy opened in 1968, serving the locals made from scratch Southern comfort food. So Tom Fanning and Diana English made it their mission to bring this place back to the future. Diana worked here for five or six years and I, she got to know everybody. And then when it shut down, it was just, it was, I wouldn't say devastating, but part of the town lost something because there was no place for people to come for breakfast in the morning, for lunch, and it was something I was missing and she told me, we need to bring it back. And so they did. The establishment had been turned into a fine dining restaurant by the previous owners, so they had their work cut out for them. Despite its challenges, Diana knew this place needed to get back to its roots. She was afraid that it was gonna turn something back into what it was and not be what the community needed. It's worth it. That's your great-grandfather, the baby there. It is. I don't know how it got in here. It's in a few places around here that are like old timey. And it's just, I think it's just one of the most old and iconic -y pictures of this area. Jacob Crawford is one of those locals. You can find him at the Country Boy at least three days a week. And although you would expect him to say he comes for the food, he says that's actually secondary. The waitresses are my therapists. That's pretty much how I do it. I come in here and I talk to them every morning. There's also some aroma therapy going on. The smells that come from this kitchen can take you back to grandma's house. From homemade pies and fresh cut meat to the country fried steak, buttermilk biscuits and country ham. When we were starting this place, Dave's story, who's become a good friend now, he came over here and helped us set up a recipe. And Dave, doesn't do anything out of a can. Everything we do here is fresh and made here. I mean, our collard greens or green beans or all our, you know, pintos, black eyed, white beans, everything here is made from scratch back then. There's three things that we don't do from scratch and I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> you have to find out. It adds just a little bit more, you know, because it's you're not taking it out of a box that's frozen or whatever and throwing it in a fryer. Now you guys from around here? It's much more than locals eating here now. Folks drive in from all over, and just like Jacob, it's not just the food that keeps them coming back. It's the unique flavor of the decor, from customers' kids putting their birthday and new height on the wall, to the chairs and tables that are named after loyal locals who have passed on, or even a quilt that's some 130 years old. It's a recurring theme of yesteryear. So each table has something unique on it, and they try and stick with the theme of 1968. So these Zotz candies, that's when they actually came on the scene. And this jar doesn't stay full all the time. So whether it's Zotz, rocks, or lots of loose change, the mason jars bring and illuminate another bit of nostalgia. All of this, plus the delicious dishes that keeps a steady flow of foodies coming through the door, including some stars from time to time. It's a policy here that we do not bother any entertainers, singers, or anybody like that come in here. And then after they've been here a few times, I'll ask them if they'll sign a guitar. And that's what that is. We've had, you know, Chris Stapleton, Justin Timberlake, Mac Davis, Reba McIntyre. From the autographed guitar to decades old matchboxes, you never know what you'll find at the Country Boy. But two things are for sure, hospitality and home cooking. And if that doesn't butter your biscuit, I don't know what will. It's, it's not hard work. 
it's a lot of hours, but you know, when you see like, you know, earlier Jacob was in here or some of the other people, you get to know everybody and you know, it's like, you, you know, it's worth it.